Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield. Um, I'm here today to show you how to actually hook up one of our PTZ Aptics cameras via the 232 port for control into your TriCaster. I have a TriCaster 460 right here. So what I'm actually going to do is take this cable that came with the camera itself. Um, this is a DB9 female to a 8-pin mini-din male. And the mini-din side, the round side, is going to plug into the RS-232 in on your camera. And then the female DB9 side is actually going to plug into a little dongle. So you can buy this from Amazon or from CRS, um, conferenceroomsystems.com. It's just a little um, 232 to USB adapter. And these are usually 10 to 20 bucks. Um, they're usually not a huge investment. But you would just plug this into here. And then you would plug your USB end into um, one of the USB 2 slots of your TriCaster. Open right here. There. Um, I did want to mention if you, right now I only have about 8 feet with the configuration for control. If you want to extend, you would just get a DB9 cable, male to female and put it in between these two connectors. And you can get all different varying lengths of that. You should be able to go up to 500 feet with 232 controls. So. so now that we're all connected up like that, I am going to go into my TriCaster and pull in my camera and show you guys how I can control it, set up the control aspect that way, all right? Hey guys, Andy Chatfield again here. I just, uh, I'm going in my TriCaster here, and I'm going to hook up control and everything for the camera I just set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is shut down to administrator mode, and I'm going to exit to Windows. So, I'm going to go into Device Manager. Now I'm going to see where that uh, USB to DB9 adapter I plugged in, where did that go? So that is on COM5. Um, if I want to change that, I can. I can go to Properties, Port Settings, Advanced, and I can change this to be a non-use COM. I'm going to go COM2. Okay. Okay. That is COM2 now. So I'm going to go back into my TriCaster software. Accept, continue, and I'm just going to do a new session. Um, and we are going to do 1080p30, which is what my camera is set to, and I'm going to start session. There's my camera. It's I must have had this camera inverted. It is upside down. But that should be alright. So down here under input settings, I'm gonna go down to the PTC control section, and I'm gonna select Sony 232. And I'm gonna go to COM2, and I'm gonna click that on. There we go. You can see my camera cycling. That usually means I've gained control of it. So I'm going to go down here into the PTZ section for camera one. And I'm going to see if I can move my camera around. And I can. And since my camera's flipped, I'm just going to go here and flip it. It's going to have to restart and then flip.
So it did flip eventually there. And I am moving it around. A little bit. So yes, that is um, the basic gist of hooking up your camera to RS-232 control and um, bringing it in in the, uh, in the TriCaster. So I hope this was helpful for you guys, um, and I will see you next time.